What's up everyone, Justin with GTAC Apple here and today I'm here to do a hardware overview of the iPod Touch 5th generation. So this year Apple redesigned the iPod Touch and I have to say it is very close to the iPhone 5. Right off the bat you will notice that it is a little bit taller. It now features a 4 inch 1136 by 640 resolution display with 326 pixels per inch pixel density as well as 44% better color saturation. So you'll definitely notice that the colors pop a little bit better compared to the previous generation and the retina displays on the iPhone 4 and 4S. So it is great that Apple did include that display. It is identical to the one on the iPhone 5. The front facing camera is now 720p that can record 720p video at 30 frames per second and can take stills at 1.2 megapixels. The iPod Touch 5th generation is out now also pretty thin, coming in thinner than its older generation at just 6.1 millimeters and it weighs just over 3 ounces. On the back you will see that there is a iSight camera that now takes 5 megapixel photos. There's now a microphone on the back as well as flash. You will notice that the lens does seem pretty big, bigger than the previous generation. One thing that I didn't like off the bat was that Apple revealed the um, Wi-Fi signal thing. I guess if the speeds are better, it is worth it. However, I have to say in terms of the design, it doesn't look the best. I know a lot of people won't mind this, but I have to say that I wish Apple had covered up that like we saw on the fourth generation. On the bottom here, there is what Apple calls the loop, which is a lanyard that allows you to attach a lanyard to the bottom. Um, personally, I also thought this wasn't a really great idea. You could have just got a case to put that on, but I guess it's something that's included, and if you don't use it, it doesn't really get in your way. On the bottom, you see Apple's new speakers, um, or not really new speakers, but I'm sure there is an improvement. I'm going to go ahead and test that out between the iPhone um, or the iPod Touch 4th generation. You also see the lightning dock connector, the new redesigned dock connector that is now 80% thinner, and the headphone jack located on the bottom like usual. The button are now blending in with the color of the device right there. Still really easy to use, and I have to say this feels really, really nice in the hand. The iPhone 5 already felt really great in the hand, but I have to say at this thickness and at this size, the iPod Touch definitely feels really, really amazing in your hand. Very nice to use. Um, better than actually the iPhone 5 already feels. On the side there's a volume button, nothing unusual about that. And the internals feature a new A5 processor, not really a new processor but we did see this on the iPhone 4S. Apple didn't go with the A6 processor but the A5 processor is definitely a huge improvement from the A4 processor seen on the iPod Touch 4th generation. The RAM is also doubled at 500 mega, megabits now, which is more than the, the, the 256 megabits on the iPod Touch 4th generation. So when we did see some speed tests, this definitely had a significant difference between um, this and its younger brother or the predecessor, the iPod Touch 4th generation. So what do I think about this from first impressions is definitely a great device. There are some things of the hardware design I didn't like about it, but I'm great, really happy that Apple did move away from the Chrome backing. Um, but one thing I have to say, like I mentioned before, was I do not like the fact that the Wi-Fi um, signal bar is revealed. And I don't really know why Apple even included a lanyard inside the device itself. But I have to say the colors look really awesome. The screen is definitely great compared to the iPhone 5, which is the same. So it's great that they included the same display that we saw on the iPhone 5, which I was really impressed about right off the bat. The speed does seem to have a significant difference to its process predecessor, the iPod Touch 4th generation. And overall, I think this is a great upgrade by Apple. So Stay tuned, stay subscribed, please let me know what other videos you'd like to see. This is just an initial impressions video of the iPod Touch 5th generation. Hope to see you in my next video.